Welcome to the project demonstration of alcohol detection system with ignition controlling using ESP32 camera along with heartbeat monitoring. So in this project we have the two input sensors. One is the heartbeat sensor from this pulse sensor and alcohol input from this MQ3 sensor. These two are interfaced to the analog input pins of our ESP32 and the output was controlled through the DC uh, through this transistor board to this DC motor. So here we are representing this DC motor as a ignition status. So when it is on, it will represent the ignition on. When it is off, ignition off. So that will be controlled through this transistor board. Here we are using BC547 transistor. As you know, transistor will act as a switch. So this is getting trigger pulse from the ESP32 uh, through this 1 kilo ohm resistor as a current limiting one. So we interface this to the ESP32 at 12th pin and next we have interfaced the heartbeat sensor at 33 pin and 34 pin is for the MQ3 alcohol sensor because 33 and 34 pins are the analog input pins to the ESP32. So in ESP32 we have the 12 bit ADC so which will convert the analog input voltage that is 0, uh, 0 volts to 3.3 volts it will be converted into the uh, 12 bit ADC like 4096 values we will get that means 0 to 4096 so when you will get the 0 volts from the sensor it will get the 0 uh, ADC value and when it will get the 3.3 volts it will provide the 4096 so that's the ADC bit 12 bits 2 power 12 is equal to the 4096 okay and next here we are using breadboard in order to distribute the 5 volts power supply through the to this inputs and output module so here just we are providing 5 volts output from this adapter by providing the 230 volts AC input. So it will provide the 5 volts output that is given as main power source input to our ESP32. And from there we are providing the 5 volts input output over here on this board. So there is a parallel connections under this PCB. So we are distributing the same 5 volts power supply to the other inputs and outputs peripherals. So here this is called as a breadboard presentation here one. So before switching on the kit, so here we can get the data into ThinkSpeak also. So in this one we can see these are alcohol values. So as we discussed, so the alcohol values is going to be 0 to 4096. Means minimum 0, maximum 4096. So here whenever the alcohol data changes, so the data also varies over here. So when we touch on the respective uh, dots, then we get the, the respective time, the alcohol value along with date and time. Okay. And next coming to the heartbeat also, same thing. So now, before switching on the kit, we need to enable the hotspot in your phone. So for that, change the hotspot name in your phone. So go to hotspot settings initially and change the hotspot name to project PROJECT5255. All should be in the small letters only, no space and no capital letters. So PROJECT5255, check twice before on the kit and password should be 12345689. And AP band should be 2.4 gigahertz. These three are the main important before on the kit. So on the hotspots and data also. And then you can log into the ThinkSpeak from the given credentials. And now switch on the kit. Once the device is connected, you can see the one device is connected over here. So we got the one device is connected, right? Now my ESP32 camera is connected to this one. So you can see the ESP32, right? And now you can see the motor is got switched on as of now the alcohol is normal condition and coming to ThinkSpeak also right we got the one data here. So ThinkSpeak data will be uploaded for every 15 seconds of duration because it can accept the data for duration of 15 seconds only. So if you want to get the fresh data so you can download that. So for that go to data import exports and now download the data. So it will be downloaded and it will be stored in Excel. It can be opened in Excel sheets. View. Right. So here we can see that. So here this is the date and time and how many uh, entries have been done till now. And the first one is as we discussed alcohol value and next is hot rate value. And uh, then so after downloaded that 
now go to channel settings then we can directly go to only clear channel don't do any other things clear channel so right now the data got cleared and now go to private view private view to see the live data channel settings to clear the channel and data import export to download the data so wait for the new data will be coming here so press the finger on the heartbeat sensor and uh, just when we show the alcohol here automatically the motor got switched off and whenever the alcohol uh, quantity is in, uh, decreases then automatically the motor got switched on automatically so just i'm placing this uh, alcohol permanent marker you can place the surgical spirit or heavy concentrated uh, sanitizer and whenever alcohol comes down right you can see that we got the data for this only i place the alcohol near to that high duration so as i place the marker for more time so the concentration was increased so when it is we can check that when this particular value is below 1500 then automatically the motor will get switched on so it take the more time to decrease right